Hey, LeBron, can you take us through the uh, no look three in as much detail uh, as possible? Um. <laughs> well, uh, my teammate, uh, you know, hit me with a bet on the sideline, and I was uh, I took the bet while I was still shooting the ball. So, you know, a, a bet isn't official until you look a man in the eye. So I had to look him into the eye, and um, I was able to win that one. Okay, I'm gonna need a couple follow-ups on this <laughs> one. Uh, who was the teammate? Uh, Dennis the Menace. Okay, and so was was the bet just like, can you turn around and look at me, or can you do a no look, or what, what were his words? That you, heard? Uh, you said, bet you won't make it. And uh, in order to make a bet uh, official, you either gotta have a handshake, or you gotta look a man in the eye. So he said, bet it. And uh, I turned around, looked him in the eye, and I said, bet it. What did you think of your other teammates' reactions around that was there? I love my teammates, man. Um, you know, we got a great group of guys, and uh, we want to continue to build of what we've been doing on the road so far, and tonight was another example of that. If LeBron, so uh, a lot of people comparing that shot uh, to some Steph Curry does. Uh, KCP just cultured all that. Uh, you know, Nick Young did it and missed it. Uh, Gilbert Arenas did it uh, and made it, did a game winner. Who, who do you associate that shot with uh, in NBA history? Um, well, Steph has definitely um, probably done it the most in our league. Uh, and when you shoot the ball as beautiful and effortlessly and uh, precisely as Steph does, um, he has the, the ultimate uh, ultra green light to do that because um, 10 times out of nine is going in for Steph. No. We all got one common goal, and our common goal is to hold each other accountable. Um, you know, put a lot of pressure on us as individuals, on our individual self. Um, and then if one um, individual um, is not feeling like himself, then we pick our brother up. And, um, and, and that's what it's all about. We got a common goal to c compete every night, to play championship basketball, and to be selfless. And, um, you know, and, and that's both on and off the floor. So uh, we know we can't, you know, obviously, can't do much off the floor um, with the with the landscape of you know COVID and, and the pandemic and things of that nature. Um, but our, our film sessions, our plane rides, and our bus um, you know sessions has given us some uh, some camaraderie. Wow. Hey, um, you know you, you said before this road trip that so far you guys have been playing B B plus basketball. Where are you guys? with these two games against the Rockets and how close to your potential do you think you guys played on this trip? <clears throat> I think we played some really good basketball on this trip, but um, I think that, that question was asked after the first 10 games, how would you assess your team? Um, so um, I have a better assessment after, um, you know, after game 20 um, and give us another grade. But um, I thought we played some really good basketball, especially defensively. Uh, we heard what our, what our captain AD said after San Antonio game. And uh, from there on, we've been we've been locked in. Last two, Dan Woogie. Hey, LeBron. Um, I kind of have a two-parter for you. Um, the league today announces, uh, you know, some updates to the protocols that are pretty restrictive. Um, you know the bubble life as much as anybody. You lived it longer than anybody, any other player. I hate to always remind you of that, but what <clears throat> um, can it be replicated without the physical bubble? And I guess. Have your thoughts about potentially ever returning, if necessary, has that changed at all since the day you left Orlando? Um, well, the bubble was a success, um, obviously, from a from a player, uh, from a performance standpoint, as far as our league getting it going, getting it back going. Um, you know, I haven't thought about the bubble much um, after I left. Um, you know, once again, Dan, you continue to give me PTSD uh, every time you ask me about the bubble. Um, I start to start shaking and thinking about 96 straight nights in that place. Um, <laughs> um, but you know, for us, um, I, I don't know. I think for our team, um, we, we live in LA County. So um, pretty much the new protocols and things that came out today, 
is pretty much everything we've been doing since March of last year. So um, not too much has changed on our landscape for us as a ball club or us as a team or as a franchise. Um, um, so it doesn't, it, it doesn't uh, change too much for us. Um, obviously, if, if any of you guys live in LA County, most of you guys do, that's with the B, uh, our B team. Um, but um, it's pretty much standard for us anyway. So um, it's easy for us to, to, to go about the new protocol um, in any way, shape or fashion. Last question, Mark Medina. Hey, LeBron, to follow up on that, I mean, given the, the handful of games that have been postponed uh, this week, what is your comfort level with, uh, you know, the league's ability to navigate through this and complete the season? Well, I mean, we, um, I, we knew that the tougher months were going to be right after the holidays. Um, you know, Thanksgiving and then Christmas. For the majority, obviously, this is the most, these are the two, uh, you know, holidays where, you know, you, you want to be around family. Um, everyone should be around family. Um, so, you know, we, we, we'll come out of this stronger. Um, obviously, we never want our games to be postponed because of the, uh, the virus and COVID and things of that nature. But I think we have a, a great group as far as the NBA side and NBPA side uh, that, that will continue to do uh, the due diligence and, and continue to, to uh, keep the things moving and running. Um, and hopefully all the guys that's, uh, you know, been hit with COVID, hopefully they, they come back stronger, um, they get over it. Um, and, and any of the you know the tracing going on as well, but um, you know our league has um, always been receptive to our players, uh, receptive to the franchises and everything that's going on. And obviously, we know with the pandemic and the COVID issue still going on, we want to be receptive to that. So um, you know I think we're um, and, and still in a really good place. And um, you know we continue to uh, always uh, you know work for the best and uh, and hope for the best. So um, you know that's what it's about.